Hi, it's me again, and yeah, this one's from an old BBC name you don't hear in the headlines much anymore. But she might make a fair point, but I don't know why she's using this specific word in it. Look at the headline here, look. And Diamond Blast BBC Wokery as broadcaster prepares major revamp. You can't, I t it's getting overused now, that word, isn't it? But what she's talking about here is there's a change in the complaint system coming to the BBC. And, uh, you know, if you put your tin foil hat on, you might be able to work out a reason they could be doing it. Look, and Diamond has hit out at the BBC's wokery following their decision to shake up its complaint system. The broadcaster's director general, Tim Davey, is set to take on direct responsibility for overseeing its complaints unit. The BBC has been mired in controversy over recent weeks for those words that I won't say here. The corporation has received hundreds of complaints from the public over its refusal to do that. Not to mention some of the more serious complaints that the BBC get involved in. So, I don't know where this wokery word comes into it. I don't know. I'm not interested really. But it's interesting to me that Tim Davey wants to take control of the complaints procedures and everything that goes on with that. Does he not have enough on his plate already managing a multi-billion, multi sorry, he said millionaire, multi-billion pound broadcaster. Does he not have enough on his plate already doing that? Does he need to be taking this on too? So what could be the reason he's taking this on? Maybe to stop some of the complaints going public. You know, I'm sure many people in the BBC have to file an NDA or they're bound by strict GDPR policy, so they can't talk about some of the complaints that come in, even though they very much like to. Now, the boss of the BBC is taking responsibility for the complaints. In other words, he'll know what's going on and whether to make it public or not, or what to action on that complaint. I think I would prefer to see it a bit more independently handled the complaints at the BBC, because let's face it, they've had some quite serious situations go on in the past. Do you want the boss at the top of that organisation to be responsible for dealing with that? Or would it be better to have a completely independent body? Seeing as now it's a publicly funded public broadcaster in the UK, shouldn't the complaints be handled externally? It's easy to knock the BBC, but I remember the days when it was regarded worldwide as the finest purveyor of news. The BBC World Service was a voice that was heard and respected everywhere, but I think a left-wing element has crept in. And that was said by uh, David Hamilton, whoever David Hamilton is, but David Hamilton makes a fair point nonetheless. I remember those days. I, I grew up in the days, when did we, we got, we got analog sky, I don't know, mid-90s, something like that. I was in my teens. I remember that if something happened in the world and you wanted to know the truth about it, I was brought up to believe, bang the BBC on, because you will find out what's going on in the world, unbiasedly and truthfully. Does anyone actually think like that now? If a big event happens in the world, is BBC News the first thing you're going you're gonna to go to? I don't know. And the BBC World Service, I think, is completely pointless. I think it's completely pointless. It's just a propaganda engine. It costs the BBC 300 million quid a year, which is their financial deficit of their 3.7 billion a year that they get. For what? To put our pro government propaganda? Why can't the government do that themselves on the internet? I don't understand it. I don't understand it at all. So there's a lot of change. There's a, the BBC are changing a lot of stuff, but they're not changing the right stuff, are they? But I don't like the fact that the boss of the BBC is now in charge of the complaints. There should be someone else, right? Or is that just me being weird again? What do you think about that? Do you think it's right that Tim has taken over that? Do you agree with that statement that the BBC was regarded worldwide as the purveyor of finest news? Let me know in the comments below. As always, way down there, press all the buttons and all of that. And uh, hopefully I'll see you in another video again soon, won't I? Ta-da!